it. I'm going to go ahead and set the cards up and begin. I'm using these with the story, and I'm going to clarify with uh, uh, this Oracle Tarot deck that I have. I've already pre-shuffled, by the way. We're just going to see what the situation might be, the obstacle that's crossing the situation, and what advice and spirit we can give you, okay? situation is tying up some loose ends. You gotta tie up the loose ends and move on. Period. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> Again, where have, where have you been involved in the past? It could be with the connection, it could be with any element, okay? Think about that. Think about where you, maybe you accomplished, maybe you haven't accomplished something in the past, something that's, that's significant right now. This is, this, this can be a mystery. Again, it's arcana, that's what arcana means, mystery. Um, but this also means something that could be a, 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 your guides wanting you to see a, the grand scale of things, which is whatever's keeping you centered right now. It's the mind. Maybe you're dealing with an air sign. Okay, maybe you have the air sign in conjunction to your, with your birth chart. Again, but this is a situation. I'm picking up a strong Aquarius energy too. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Let's see. So tie up the loose ends and then you got to move on from the from that from that situation okay when you move on you're able to move forward so both of these cards both of these cards mean the same thing to me it's like seeking fulfillment when you move from that when you move from what's keeping you flustered from what's keeping you from moving forward again that's what this means um another thing that did come to mind maybe you're recovering from some type of um anything you're traveling recovering you've experienced some type of depression i don't know but you're walking away from that okay and that's when you tie up the loose ends with whatever energy this is you can go ahead and switch roles if you'd like but this is what i'm getting so now the obstacle is taking that now you got to take a risk you got to take a risk and when you take that risk you're going to be able to to rejuvenate yourself you're going to be able to have a clear mindset and gain some type of clarity because whatever made you expand in the past whatever situation this is that you're getting over with i don't know again i don't know if it came to some type of combination or it's it's a new beginning i don't know but Again, your story. Again, you're gonna take some, some some type of risk. You're gonna seem to you're gonna take something that you're gonna take a leap of faith. Basically, is what I'm what I am picking up. Okay, that's what the fool does. The fool does that. It's a new energy in your life right now, and you, you I mean, just be careful with that energy, and also with this number four of swords. Again, it's the same. It's that same element. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. You need to have a good rest and gain some. Uh, build up some boundaries and this way it's going to give you some type of stable situation when you plan okay you're going to have some type of structure when you're able to meditate when you're able to focus and come into your own your own realignment okay and then what i'm getting for spirit advice is to you well, you're going to have some type of new beginning oh my god you got triple air sign in your chart in this reading how crazy that's that's three air sign cards how funny um, well, it's not funny. It's whatever situation you're going through. But you also got the Hermit card. <laughs> so that, that's your energy. That's that. No, it's not your energy. It's Virgo, actually. It's someone who's in solitude, again, in the past. So you're going to still be in solitude, see? Solitude, that's the obstacle. The situation is you're walking away from that. You're moving forward from whatever it is emotionally that's keeping you flustered. Or whatever, wherever, whatever belief you're thinking about. Because what I know about beliefs... The more you believe something, the more you think about it. And it doesn't serve you, okay? You're going to continue to project that energy because remember, we are magnets. And you do not want to attract that, <laughs> okay? Get rid of the situation. It doesn't serve you. So now, you're going to have some new beginnings that you're going to be able to go and take initiative, okay? You're going to be able to go and take some type of initiative with this new beginning, okay? You're going to gain some type of clarity, some truth, some justice, some fortitude, okay? And there, you're able to seek that guidance, okay? You got the Hermit card. This is a card of solitude. It's a card of having, gaining some type of introspection, okay? And wanting to search, wanting to search, have, gaining some type of analysis. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, when I say analysis, I'm thinking about your possessions, okay? You're thinking about your career. You're thinking about your wealth. You're thinking about, you're thinking about your opportunities, okay? But this is the ace of 
air, uh, of, of sorts. So that's mental clarity you're going to gain. You're going to gain some type of that. And that is the advice from spirit. Once you let go of this, you're going to gain some of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a um, an angel card for you. For your loved ones. We're going to see what messages they have for you right now at this time, okay? What messages do we have for my watch? Okay, let's see. Any more messages for it? No, that's too many, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So we got three energies for you. You got to take a break. Sorry, take a break. Well... That is a solitude. That's funny. That did come out of my mouth. So that is valid. And I am seeing the numbers at 717. So there is some type of awareness that you guys are going to be gaining. So take back your power, okay? Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life, okay? Followed by the breathe card. Take several deep breaths and exhale, and ex and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Followed by the healthy lifestyle. Yeah, that's that rest and rejuvenate. Um, eat a healthful diet and a healthful, healthful diet and get adequate sleep and exercise regularly and oh, for optimal health. Okay, so these are the messages that we have for you today. Um, don't forget to comment below. Let me know if this reading resonated with your situation. And love and love.